Origin Chas Homes Reaction. This is Donut Operator Exposes a Serial Killer featuring Brandon Herrera and Joe Hamrick. Unsubscribe Clips channel. This from the Unsubscribe podcast. There's no federation in this one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, <sighs> when I heard this, when I saw this title, I'm like, hmm, I don't know, man. Look, man, there, uh, there, I've seen certain videos about some dark realities on YouTube. About uh, certain YouTubers got in trouble, something, something happened. Uh, certain YouTubers disappeared. Some nefarious thing was happening with certain YouTubers. Isn't that YouTube is big, let's just say. I don't know if like they should talk about this because if it's if it's exactly like the title says I don't think donut operators should <laughs> talk about this here because he's talking about a serial killer yeah yeah so that's that's kind of dangerous is he talking about like in one of his video uh, he exposed it like he got caught and he's in jail or something then maybe he can talk about it here but if he didn't got caught and th he's <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say man uh, yeah, so it's gonna be an interesting video. Let's watch it. Names. How about that? Okay, I won't say names. Oh, that yeah, that's a great yeah. All right, you should can can you, you say a name? Will you can please them make out? up funny names for everyone that you're talking about? Ah, uh, yes, the infamous pee pee poo poo killer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's I would love it. Or right, so rhyme it really close. <laughs> yeah. No, don't implicate me on this. <laughs> so in Spartanburg, Mouse Mare Liners, one day. That's, I don't know if you're. <laughs> what the hell? There was a guy. I think we missed the assignment, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there was a guy named Bob Bullhip. Sure. And <laughs> that was good. He buried a bunch of people on his property and killed them. For and... the opposite, opposite order. He killed them, then buried them. Yeah, yeah. He killed them, then buried them on his property. His name sure. was Bob Bulbeck. Thank you for fucking yeah, keeping yeah, your yeah, facts yeah. straight. And he had a, 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 a Bonex box. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept a girl in there chained up. And I made a video about it one day. And... <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh at that part. <laughs> yeah. So, they ended up figuring... Out okay, I've said that in the past. I don't know. Look, man. People like whenever in any dark shit, whether it's a joke or not, people laugh and like, oh, you're going to hell. You're laughing. Whenever our mind finds something that our mind doesn't see that as realistic because it's so far off or so ridiculous. I don't know if ridiculous is the right word, but that's how people use the word ridiculous. Like something so out of reality. No way it can be true. That's how our brain's first response sees it. Whenever something dark represents you, your mind is basically, okay, that can't be real. So you just laugh right that's the response to it because obviously that's not real and you just laugh and obviously this is like first response thought just this happens in milliseconds immediately you realize you know your mind also process like oh wait a minute this is real so whenever you hear of really dark shit or just most fucked up thing and you laugh and be like oh, you're going to hell no that's how humans work right because your mind is like oh come on i can't believe this is real like this can't be real type of way out that he was a burial biller because you can say these words <laughs> yeah, I, you're putting like, out the wrong word cody's like so john smith was a burial biller <laughs> it's like yeah i think you missed this. <laughs> i like it this way i think this is i like it this way <laughs> so, this is much better <laughs> so, mr ball and with brew prime yeah. <laughs> all right i'm gonna have to go back i'm gonna have to go back a little bit yeah say his real name and then <laughs> blur out the word serial killer but don't blur out the actual guy's name he's like wait a minute you miss those two things uh, there were uh, there were some killings called the the booper bike billings sure uh where five people were shot and killed in uh near spartanburg south carolina in a uh, business yeah in a business there were five people shot and killed. They, they've never been able to figure out who did it, who went in there. and Because they, they were dead. Thing. They couldn't figure out who did it because they were yeah, dead. Exactly. But nobody they else could figure it out either. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. So they killed all these people. And um, so a couple years later, there's a serial killer, burial biller, in Bartonburg, South <laughs> Carolina. You right? can say serial killer. Okay. Serial killer. <laughs> what, what year, by the way? Uh, so the Roughly. super bike, <laughs> the booper bike, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep <Bonk>. that, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> the booper bike. Okay, is, is it only me? Because when I'm hitting them, my head is hurting. I don't know if it's because English is not my first language, but I think it's mostly because it's end of my day right now. 
right? Uh, I'm, I'm properly tired. My, my mentality, my mind and everything is just properly tired. So it's like whenever something I really have to focus, it's like, yeah, that's when my head's gonna be like, what the fuck? Because something is just like usual and just flow, like certain words you just hear, like names and places, like it makes sense. But when you like, when he says it like that, I'm like, what the fuck was that? And just like, I have to process that. And it's basically just hurting my head. He could have just said like, insert place here, or insert name here, and that would have been better than just saying all these things because it's really feeling hard to concentrate. Bike murders <laughs> happened in the early, I think it was early 90s. 90s, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was I was not 90s. born for the record. Yeah, I was no implicated one, in that. That was not, I, it was not me. No one knew <laughs> not who went that in time. and just like shot all these people in this store where they, they you know, they sold <laughs> motorbikes and they sold four wheelers and shit like that. And here comes along. Richard that. <laughs> <laughs> Bod Bullpep comes along and he ends up having a bunch of dead bodies on his property. They're missing their feet, which no one knows that, but hey, here we are. <laughs> And they never found the feet. They never found, yeah, they never found the feet. Uh, but, but there was the girl who was chained up in a Connex box. Not even hot. Bomb X box. Not even hot at all. Yeah. Christ. She was even hot. <laughs> she was in the Bomb X box. And I made a video about it back in 2017, 18, something like that. <laughs> and so uh, the sheriff at the time, uh, Sheriff, 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 Sheriff Sheriff. <laughs> a sheriff comes along at the time who is the sheriff of Bartonburg Bounty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this so he goes out. in the room with the serial killer. They just called him because they found that girl in the Connex box and all the dead prop like all the dead people on the property and all that stuff. And he's like, Hey, uh, I'm trying to get re-belected again. <laughs> <laughs> You know what this feels like? This feels like the little like awkward kid at fucking first grade who's like, "Hey, teacher, can I go pee in the corner?" And like, "Yeah, great." And then he points toward the class and pisses in the corner. It's like, well, anyways, this we kind of fucking told you yes, but yeah, like, oh. I think All it's right. going great. Proceed. All right, so, <laughs> so this guy, he's on trial for. Murdering a bunch of people on his property. He had a girl locked up. Bass murder. Box. Bass murder. He's on trial for bass murder. Right. And he's like, shit, I don't want to go to death row. And so the sheriff at the time goes in there and he's like, hey, if you confess to these booper bike murders, um, if, <laughs> then <laughs> you're not going to be on death row anymore. I like you're using pig Latin to hide something. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> and... <laughs> It's all beast, and so <laughs> Bob Bullpep at the time, he's like, all right, yeah, I did the booper bike murders. And then Bob Bullpep isn't on death row anymore, and the new sheriff gets elected. And around the same time after I'm- I don't get it, what? What? So a guy is on death, is about to be on death row because he did certain murder thing. And now he like, I'm guessing falsely claimed that he also did that whatever other type of things. And he's not on death row. It's like doing more makes you not. Uh, what 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 the fuck is that? So is there some kind of a rule like serial killers basically serve life and not be on death row or something? Because I'm pretty sure that's not true, right? So I don't get it. What just happened there? If he admit to that, I guess like he 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 solved a certain mystery and like uh, gave closer to the victim's family. So I guess you're on on life, uh, you know, like jail for life, but not on death row. Isn't that rewarding for kind of, right? I don't know how that works. Is that how the law works there? Like if, if somebody outs and just like says all these things, like they are no longer on death row, but I don't, I don't understand that mentality, but I don't know. I guess it incentivize people to come forward and confess things so people are at ease and like gets closer and death rows for the people who actually get caught and evidence piles up on them and they don't actually confess. I guess that could be the reason. Damn, this is heavy, man. I made my video, uh, an FBI forensics expert. I would use that FBI clearly. Yeah. And they were like, Bexpert. Just clearly FBI. <laughs> Federal Bureau of Investigations, Bexpert. This is the kind of, this is Family Guy episode where Rather than redacting the, play, the thing you're supposed to react, you react something else and like expose the thing that is there. Right? Rather than saying BBI or something like that, he did say FBI, but blurred out expert. 
This, this Bet Me by Bexper <laughs> hits me up via email, B-mail, and, uh, <laughs> and she's like, hey, oh, um, the way that Bob Bolbet described these murders, he never did them. He never did the booper bike murders. I'm like, oh, that's, that's fucking weird. And uh, <laughs> so it all comes down to Bod Bolbep never did the booper bike murders, <laughs> but the sheriff at the time <laughs> wanted to be elected again. So he got him to confess to it. So he didn't go to death row. And it's like a decades old, bold, decades base. old, bold base. <laughs> yeah. We're, and it's accepted there that mm -hmm. that's the that's truth. The thing. You, you, you mean know, a politician you, you, buy to be bebected? <laughs> Yeah, he wanted to be be bebected. <laughs> All right, so go he on. Bied. I yeah. thought, and I thought that was the truth until you told me earlier. Yeah, but this Beth be exactly bied. that way. Well, that's Dexter. yeah. It was he told? Yeah, it was Poor a weird Chase in the audience. They're like, Chase is just like, I don't know what to edit in this episode. You want to yeah. know what it's like to have a stroke? <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah. Anyways, uh, new sheriff or the. Current sheriff was reelected and still sheriff. Bod Bullhip didn't go to death row because he admitted to the booper bike birders. <laughs> Anyways, that's a, uh, I'm going to get fucking murdered for that, but you know, yeah, yeah, birdered. You're going to get birdered. Yeah. Burgered. No, you're going to get, get excuse me, mm, birdered. <laughs> mm. A whole lot there. So he didn't really expose the real serial killer because he doesn't know, obviously, how would he? I don't know why I assume he's going to know, like, because somehow he found information of how, like, if FBI can find it, how he can. So he's basically just saying, like, uh, he exposed because he got some information that the guy who claimed he did this, uh, you know, like, this serial killings actually didn't do it. That's the exposed thing here. Why would he get killed for that again? Like, he still didn't name that original serial killer because he doesn't know that. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, hi. <laughs> Unsubscribe podcast. Hello. That's a great. That's a. It's a great story. If anybody could piece to figure it out, what? Well, yeah. Fucking... I'm pretty sure the events he's talking about, and people can piece it together, especially who lives there, right? Like what he's talking about. Yeah. Cody's. <laughs> I just like you're like the FBI expert. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am just, I'm sitting there, like, just thinking of, like, the, uh, the dude from The Hangover, uh, Zach Galifianakis, just, like, the fucking equations going by, like, our audience, like, there's a cold case here. I'm gonna find this out. I just have to change every B word, and I can figure this yeah. out really easily. Are we gonna keep any of this podcast? <laughs> I mean, we got a good portion. We can keep a majority two, of three this. Minutes. Just maybe two, three minutes. <laughs> I wanted to talk about just like some of the places that you guys knew together. Fuck, you went into like a an active investigation where somebody still who likes feet is fuck. We have these two people together. I'm Brendan Herrera. Okay, let's talk about the things we like. Let's talk about the places we know. Do you know I expose a serial killer? Like, ah, damn it. Okay, I guess we are going that path. Fucking unsolved mystery. No, nah. he's not at large. He's not nah, at large. No, nah, he's in federal prison right now. Yeah, I think he guy? didn't get the death penalty because he admitted to the booper bike murders. Yeah. And and I think like oh. feet is probably an understatement. If he, well, he <clears throat> ingested feet, maybe at some point, right? Probably. We don't yeah, know that's probably what he did with them. Well, wait, I it... thought it was the guy who uh, I thought a guy who did other burial birders um, <laughs> had confessed to something he didn't do, and that's where the feet were missing. No, he he already had unrelated. the feet missing. Yeah, on his property. Oh, okay, Got it. okay. The beat were missing on his property. Yeah, unrelated. <laughs> yeah, bird. Was there any more bodies showed up with beat missing? They didn't find them all, <laughs> but there are definitely more <laughs> bodies on his property. More than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but because he, <laughs> because he <laughs> confessed to the booper bike murders, uh, a new bariff was belected. All of this information, I will say that I heard earlier from somebody who wasn't him and told him this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this uh, this makes me think like, how many of people who did criminal activities, let's just say, 
never got caught because of just simple point blank greed, corruption, and whatever. Sheriff wanted to get re-elected and he just said, like, just confess to this murder. Well, there was a problem. I get re-elected. You don't get death row. Everybody wins. Yeah, except the victims. And the case gets cold and put in, like, tag, like, solved. Right? You see all those, like, creative scenarios in these TV shows. Uh, where you see certain scenarios, like, in, there is a law in this, uh, in, you know, cops investigation uh, element or whatever like if they find this one they don't investigate any further and that's why this slipped under the hood and then some serious music plays and that was the episode and that makes you really think like i get it this is drama this is creative way of showing it this is a tv show but i can see that happening in real life how many real lot of big crimes went unsolved and not just unsolved, like we know of unsolved, like people think they are solved because somebody got caught, but that's not the guy. How many of them are like that? That's insane, man. That makes things scary, right? But yeah. All right, well, that was Donut Operator Exposes a Serial Killer featuring Brenda Herrera and Joe Hamrick. Bye, channel, and subscribe podcast. If you like my next video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.